hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing good and i hope you're staying safe stay safe yeah so yeah on this episode we're going to be talking about disappointment no matter who you all want to claim to be no matter how rich you are how wealthy you are or how mentally stable you are you will agree with me that like you've been at the lowest point in your life like there have been times when you eat like gas gas with disappointment so yeah basically this episode is going to be giving you tips on how to you know you know <laughs> deal with disappointment so yeah stay tuned and i'll be right back thank you so the first tip on how to deal with disappointment is to take a moment allow yourself to actually one you just been disappointed maybe just a deal that you're trying to strike and you didn't pull through maybe you expected yourself to maybe reach a particular stage and you did or maybe it's a promotion you're waiting for and in the fortune allow yourself to you are human. You cannot hide behind these guys. You cannot reform <laughs> I'm cool and then going out. Just don't sweep it under the rug with a smile. Don't hack like you are okay. Don't give us a fake smile. You are human after all. You've just been disappointed. Sis, buff. Deal with it. The more you try to hide it, the more you keep it inside. The more you are in denial and the more you don't move on. And trust me, there is a very huge likelihood that you are going to repeat the same mistake if you do not allow yourself to wallow. But the problem is, how long are you allowed to wallow or do? Which brings me back to my so next. The point. second one is to do a reality check. You need to allow yourself to recount the situation, go over the um, disappointment all over again. Think and be like, okay, so what um, did I do that makes this to make me to to lead to the disappointment? Is my situation really that bad? Do like a recount of the events to know, okay, what can I pick from this thing? What can I do to ensure that the next one, I am smashing that shit like, I ain't nobody gonna take that shit from me, it is mine. Bro, sis, you need to do a reality check to keep your head in balance and be like, and at times, you need to also check your expectations because at times, maybe the expectation you're having is unrealistic. You can set a bar so high for yourself that, you know deep down your mind that you may not be able to achieve it, but so when you get disappointed, you're like, Oh my goodness, I'm so disappointed. Oh God, what did I do? What did I offend? My colleagues are you're not your colleagues and you're not your mate. You need to realize that we all have our standards and we all have different plans. So just do your own reality check and say, okay, so maybe you didn't pass the course. Okay, so I didn't pass this course. What did I do wrong? What could I have done to have passed it? What could I have done to prevent or minimize this kind of disappointment? And someone once said like, expectation is the root or is the is the greatest root of all attics if you have a lot of expectation for yourself especially on realistic expectations there is no doubt you are disappointed so yeah do a reality check and try to comprehend what it is exactly that led you to that disappointment and if it's because your expectations were too high you need to do a quick check and a rebalance so that you don't get disappointed again because really you just because yourself a necessary attic the third one is to filter people's opinion about your disappointment maybe the disappointment is coming from you maybe letting down your parent letting down a boss maybe you couldn't meet a deadline or just know that whatever people say to you is going to be based on their own opinion and their own school of thought and how they see things so when people advise i'm not saying don't listen to people i'm not saying don't listen to what's other people's opinion or how best to handle your disappointment but what i'm saying is take in the positive and filter the negative out as soon as the negative is coming in like this from your right ear, they come out by two stage that the what thing is that let it be going out through your left ears. So filter people's thoughts because people's opinion is always going to be based on their own judgment of what disappointment is. If you're feeling disappointed about a job interview and then a friend comes up like, oh, you're feeling disappointed. Don't tell no, do you really think don't tell them is <laughs> for goodness sake, do you really think you're going to get that job? Like have you seen yourself? Have you seen where you applied to? Let them tell them. Thank you, but immediately that sentence is coming in my sister, my brother, let's go out to your letters. Because trust me, when you land that job, they're still going to be the person saying, I knew you could do it, girl. Oh, congratulations. I'm going to pass when I'm going to pop champagne. I'm like, we won't pop champagne now. And you, I'm not saying give them attitude. I'm, I'm just a natural attitude person. So I'm not saying give them attitude. But most importantly, what I'm saying is, let in the positive. And another method that I've proved, or well, that I've been proven by Misha, I do it at times to be um, a, a best choice when you want to deal with disappointment is to write down how you think or talk to someone. But most times, I'm, well, myself, I, I really find it hard to open up or to talk to someone about particular things in my life. So I prefer to just write it down. Or another thing I do, and you guys might think this is crazy, is talk to yourself. Nobody knows you better than you and nobody can take care of you better than you. 
I do this thing whereby when I'm trying to deal with a particular situation or a particular disappointment, I squeeze myself into four different kinds. Well, depending on the situation, there are times when I've been ten. Mm. But that's not the point. What I'm saying is, you can like create like a conversation in your head amongst four people and it's yourself. The first person can be maybe the negative people, the naysayers saying, ah, of course I'm disappointed, how can I do this? The second person can be something that positive, someone you need to ask someone positive in your life to tell you, okay, this is how you're going to do this. Next time, oh, this is how you're moving forward. Just have different characters, play it out in your head, like different opinions or different things that you feel like people might have been saying people might be having from that character in your head or just talk to God. I do this at times like maybe I just wake up and I'm like ah yeah Allah see like Allah, Allah. guy we just have some conversation like just talk to your God. You may even you may even just lock yourself in your room or something and talk to God and trust me it listens even before you see it he has already heard you talking about you actually saying it. So another thing is you can just write it down maybe have a journal or something. But another thing that prevents that like, I really don't like to write down what I think is I get crazy for it. I, I go back to them like, oh, what's up? What about this? I'm like, oh, and there's some things that maybe I have actually forgotten. And when I remember it, it takes me back to that place I don't want to be. So, at times, what I do is I write something and I, I, I like I try to put my emotions down. And when I've passed that stage, I just bore it. But it depends on who you have, really. You can just keep it and, you know, see. But another effective thing is that you talk to God, talk to yourself, form different character. And the next point is, is make a choice. You've already allowed yourself to wallow. You've done a reality check. You try to let out your emotions or spoken to someone that can understand how you feel. Now the time is for you to make a choice. You can allow that disappointment to either make or marry you. You can allow the disappointment to say, okay, ugh, I'm not going to be good enough. You can wallow in this forever and you feel like if you, you just don't do it and just keep on going around this constant feeling of you're never going to be good enough. Or you can grab the bull by the horn and the next job or the next interview or whatever next project you are doing, you are going fully prepared knowing that, okay, you know what, I'm going to be no disappointment this time around. I am going to get that thing. Speak positive affirmation into your life. That is also very key. Positive affirmations. If you are going for something, maybe people are really doubting you and say you're not going to be good. Then wake up every morning, look at yourself in the mirror and say, I, I am going to do this. I, say your name, myself, Salam, that I am going to. I tell 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. <laughs> but you guys, are the most serious note. Say positive things to yourself before, like, even before the mirror, before you wake up, even when people are saying negative things into your into your heart. Filter it out and look at yourself and say positive things. You are beautiful, you are strong, and you can definitely overcome. Don't let anybody tell you who you are or what you can or cannot do. Who are they? Who born there? Now, <laughs> this last one is to be prepared. And you need to recognize that disappointment it's kind of constant outside all the stages by which you can deal with disappointment but another thing you need to accept and know so that you don't go back to maybe hating yourself and when disappointment is too much you need to realize that there are really few things that you do in life that you won't be disappointed and disappointment might come from his like being the best option for you maybe something that you thought is best for you is actually not the best for you and if it doesn't come for you you're like oh god or maybe it has been like a multiple of oh, yes i can hear the bike i'm, I'm so sorry about that so yeah, maybe it's like multiple disappointment. Maybe you felt disappointment. You disappointed like maybe consecutively for like five times. And you're like, oh well, let me give up. You need to realize that disappointment is actually something that is kind of constant. Like, you, so that's why I said you either choose to let it make you marry you or you let it make you stronger. Because my sister, my brother, what doesn't kill you actually makes you stronger. So you can allow to be be sad while um, while you're sober and feel like you're not good enough going about being aggressive going about being sad and dejected or with every disappointment you face you learn lessons from it there are a couple of times i've been disappointed but now that i look back i'm like oh like the opportunities i missed the opportunities i passed cannot even match the one i have right now so i'm like okay so yeah that stuff actually wasn't meant for me so you need to recognize that there's hardly anything you do that you will not feel disappointment but what matter is how you get the hell up you need to tell yourself that no matter the disappointment i'm going to face no matter what anybody says because if you allow you are anybody less of me that's no matter what anybody's mother tells me well, that's not the way it's so. you know you're right <laughs> but, but what i'm basically saying is recognize that you are probably going to feel disappointed maybe 50 percent of the time but what matters is how you deal with the disappointment so yeah that's it for this episode. Let me quickly thank all the people that have subscribed to this channel. Thank you. You guys are the real MVP. Like, what? And if you're yet to subscribe, why not? Uh, you won't see why.
my pretty face <laughs> anyway if you to subscribe kindly subscribe to this channel like comment let me know if you have a different opinion on how to deal with this appointment after all i don't know everything i might also learn a thing a thing or two a thing a, whatever I'm, I'm, I'm actually learned something from you so yes thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys on my next episode bye send love and light your way ciao tschüss